So today I would like to go over um, a uh, condense overflow shutoff device. Um, so the one that I'm going over is it's called Safety Switch uh, Model SS2. But all of these uh, overflow uh, shutoff devices, they basically work almost the same way. So this device right here. Um, it's attached to the red line. Well, actually, this is better. So this device right here, it uh, attaches to the two, uh, 24 volt AC uh, supply voltage, um, and it's it, it's in between uh, the return of it. So it acts like a switch. If there's too much water that condense and and uh, and builds up a, a flow of water then it shuts off and when there's no more water then it uh, well, if all the water drains out correctly then it uh, shorts again so it gives back power to the uh, controller board at your uh, furnace unit so this is how this works when you buy this um, this just pops out right there this is a switch when water flows up, it uh, it opens it, and when there's no more water, it shorts, so it completes the circuit. So let's use a digital multimeter. This is one of the devices that uh, that uh, if your drainage at your furnace, if if you're, if it's clogged up, this is what turns off most of your devices. So before you have a HVAC professional come to your house to just solve this simple problem. It's easy to just to test it out yourself before you hire somebody to come in. So let's, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to, like, I'm just going to experiment how this system works. So here's my digital multimeter. I'm going to turn it on to ohms resistance. I'm just going to hook up two lines to it. One and two. Alright, I have these two lines that hook up to it. So, you can see when this bobbles down, when this sits flat, it's shorted at 2 ohms. And when this floats up, it goes to a complete open circuit. Here's uh, uh, some water right here. And you can see how it floats up and it shorts it, I mean it opens it. And if water is low enough, then it's short again. And that's how this device works.